three manifestation mistakes. You are doing manifestation all wrong. Here are three massive mistakes that I see people making all the time when it comes to manifestation, which leads to an immediate halt to your manifestations. There is so much hype on social media about how to do manifestation that people end up taking the totally wrong approach to manifestation and giving up on the whole process far too quickly. I'm going to share where most people are going wrong with manifestation and how to change that so you can actually start to see evidence of your manifestations working. Three manifestation mistakes you are doing manifesting all wrong. So here are the most common mistakes I see people making when it comes to manifestation. Number one, the biggest problem that I see is being too specific. And although I am the first to recommend that you do get specific when it comes to manifesting what you want, there is a fine line between being specific enough and being too specific. So what do I mean by this? I encourage people to get clear on exactly what they want. So for example, say if you are trying to manifest your dream business, you should be deciding how much money you want to make, deciding what you want to sell, deciding the details of your product, deciding your working hours, deciding who you want to work with, etc, etc. And all of these are fantastic details to be specific about. But the problem comes when people specify themselves out of getting anything at all. So what do I mean? The issues arrive when people are so fixated on getting exactly what they want in the way they want it that they won't settle for anything else at all. So say for example that you have decided that you want to earn $10,000 a month and you only want to do that by working with five clients a month and you want to get those clients by posting on Instagram stories. Perhaps you decided that because you took a course and the course creator told you that that is exactly how it needs to happen that you've now got fixated that that is the how and that is exactly what you need to do. And after a few months of posting to Instagram stories every day, perhaps you're not seeing any signs of life at all. Maybe nobody is coming to your Instagram account and you're just not getting any interaction with people. You're getting no followers. Maybe at the same time you start to receive intuitive prompts that perhaps you should start doing marketing a different way. For example, doing interviews on other people's podcasts. But you say to yourself, no, uh, you're not going to do that because that is settling for less than you deserve and you want to get your business running in the exact way that you planned it and you are not open to doing business any other way. But if you are getting clear intuitive prompts such as ideas like followed by people recommending things to you and you're just not listening, you are literally manifesting the opposite of what you want. And it is great to be specific about what you want, but you also need to be flexible and listen to the guidance that comes your way and decide if it's time to pivot from your plan. So what you need to do is ask yourself, do I really mind if the strategy changes as long as I'm still headed towards the same outcome that I want? And if you are not willing to let go of a rigid way of doing something, then that is being too specific and you are specifying yourself out of your manifestation. This is the second biggest mistake that you are making when it comes to your manifestations. Not acting like your manifestation is on its way. So another mistake people make is to give up on their manifestation when they start to feel fed up that it's not arrived yet. And it's something I hear a lot, especially with business owners. And they say things like, I've been consistent posting to Instagram every day for two whole weeks and I still haven't made any sales. This manifestation thing just isn't working. It doesn't work. And the thing about manifesting what we want is we literally don't know when our manifestations are going to arrive, which is what makes it all lots of fun. So you can either choose to see it as frustrating or you can choose to see it as fun. That is completely your opinion. And I've been practicing manifestation for years now and I have manifested 
probably about, say, 90% of the things that I've ever wanted. But I am human, and like the rest, rest of us, I have also had my own wobbles, where I just didn't think that my manifestations were going to show up. And luckily, I didn't give up, and I carried on believing, and eventually they did show up. And just to show you some of my own timescales involved in some of my manifestations, I just wanted to let you know how long some of my manifestations took to actually materialize and this will hopefully um, make you feel a lot better about the fact that your manifestations haven't arrived yet because they don't always arrive within two weeks and but sometimes they do. So here's a variety of different manifestations, things that I've manifested and the time it took for them to come. So my manifest manifestation was I wanted to move to a warmer climate and this took about seven years to materialize. I can't remember exactly how long it took, but I do remember that we were living in our last house for five years and then the house before that for another five years. And it was probably about halfway through living in that house before the last one that I started to create vision boards about moving to a warm climate and really desperately wanting to move abroad um, to another country and started to um, ask my husband if we could move to another climate. So yes, seven years, that feels like a really long time, doesn't it? But I'm just showing you that it did actually happen. We did move to another climate, a warmer climate in a different country. And yes, it happened and I'm living that dream now. Um, and yep, yeah, it took a really long time. Second manifestation, moving to my first dream house. Um, the first dream house that we moved to was double the size of our first house. Um, our first house we moved into when we didn't have any kids and it was really tiny. And then we doubled the size of it and moved into this really, really big house. This beautiful house with a massive big gardens. And it was, we both had our own offices. It was um, really, really big. And we had all the space we wanted. We wanted um, to manifest more space for our growing family and that manifested in about three years of first wanting um, that to manifest. Then another manifestation was moving to the house I'm currently living in right now. It's moving to my dream beach house on the seafront. And this took about five years to manifest. So again, it took a really long time and there was lots of steps in the process to actually get there. Even when we made the decision that we were moving it still took a really long time to uh, move areas, find the house we wanted and wait for it to be built basically because it's a new house, but we are actually living in it. So I'm very, very glad it happened. Um, another manifestation along the similar lines is moving next to the beach. And again, that took about five years to manifest and we are right next to a beach now. So that happened. Another manifestation was making six figures from my very first business and that only took about six months to manifest. So not very long at all when you're comparing it to like five years or seven years. That was a very short manifestation. Six months doesn't feel like a very short manifestation at the time though. So if you've been working consistently on your business for five months and you feel like, oh, it's taken a really long time, I totally get it. I understand that it feels like a long time when you've been working for months and months and months, but actually, when you look back, you think, oh, six months really wasn't that long. You know, what was I complaining about? <laughs> and then um, another manifestation was I manifested $13,000 within just two weeks of deciding that that's what I wanted to manifest. So that was a super, super fast manifestation that arrived. It felt like almost instantly. In fact, some the money did start to trickle in almost instantly, you know, within a couple of days, the first um, the first instalment of that money came came trickling in. So uh, yeah, that was a very, very fast um, manifestation. And I've created a content piece explaining about that as well. And a couple of these other things I've made content about too. Um, and there is lots of manifestations that I've currently got in the works. One of them is making six figures and, also, and then going up to se seven figures from my current business. And this hasn't happened yet at this current point in time. And I'm probably at that stage where I'm about five months into 
the process, although I did start it earlier than five months ago, um, I only committed to it and I committed to a schedule and I committed to my business properly about five months ago. So this really isn't a very long period of time. And lately I have been feeling like these have, I've been having these thoughts myself. Is it actually happening? Is it going to happen? Should I give up? Is it not going to happen? And, and then I remind myself, don't be so ridiculous. Look what happened with your other manifestations. Do you, would how would you feel if you gave up now that is just a ridiculous thought to think and that's what i am telling myself at the moment so i am actually going through this and we're all going through this all, all the time it's not like oh i've manifested everything i want and now that's it um i'm actually always wanting to manifest more as we all do so yes a lot of my manifestations took many many years to materialize and of course when we achieve one thing we move on to something else so there is always something that hasn't yet been manifested. So we're always in a posi position where we're waiting for manifestations to arrive. We wouldn't be human if we, we weren't in that position where we want something that we don't currently have. But I am so glad that I didn't give up on my manifestations because now I'm living my dream life. And no, that doesn't mean that my life is absolutely perfect and that I don't have bad days or, you know, down days or um, bad thoughts popping into my head and that kind of thing or don't get frustrated with people and they don't get frustrated with me that is all part of the human experience but I do think that I still I still say that I'm living my dream life and I still think that I'm living my perfect life because to me perfection is all the ups and downs of life and that's my idea of perfection and yours might be different but that's mine and that's how I choose to see my life so what you've got to think about is those years are going to pass anyway, so you might as well let them pass while still believing in your dreams. Because as soon as you give up on your dreams and give up on your manifestations and say it's not working, that is the point where your manifestation will be cut off and you can no longer manifest your desires if you have decided that it's not going to happen. Your belief is what matters. So choose to believe in what you want because the time is going to pass anyway. And even if you have to wait longer than you expect, you'll still be glad that your desires show up eventually. We are all on our own journey and we all have lessons to learn. I had to learn my own lessons and it took me a very long time to do it because I was so stubborn. I was so fearful. I was full of complaints most of the time. My business income showed up so fast because it's in such a place of gratitude and generosity at the time that I started my first business. And now I'm trying to tap back into that state of being with my latest business. So the third mistake is not taking any action. So you've probably all heard of the book, The Secret. And The Secret brought manifestation into the mainstream, which is a good thing. And it's actually... I would say it was the first book on manifestation that I ever read, but strangely enough, it didn't really do anything for me. It didn't really motivate me to take action. And I am such a big action taker. And maybe that's why it didn't motivate me because I need some tangible actions to take. And because it didn't specify any actions that I could take in the book, I just kind of dismissed it. And it was many, many years before I started doing actual manifestation techniques and taking action towards my desires. But yes, it was the first book that I read myself. And this book explained that to manifest something, all you have to do was believe and visualize what you want and that it would appear. And the thing that the book didn't mention was that manifestation comes from co-creation with God or the universe. And that means that we meet God halfway and God meets us halfway. God places the desires on our hearts and also brings our desires into reality. However, in order to get what we want, we have to do something. And think about it logically. The world wouldn't function and it wouldn't improve and we wouldn't have all these technological advances if people just sat around all day visualizing the latest sports car that they wanted to appear on their driveways. Nobody would have invented a sports car if anyone took didn't take any action to create the car in the first place. We are all workers of the world. 
we have to work to earn our blessings. It's just the way the world works. So taking action is what is required in addition to deciding and trusting in order to manifest what we want. So how do we know what action to take? We listen to our intuition. Intuition sounds like a random idea popping into your mind seemingly from nowhere, often followed up by a thought that you just can't get out of your head and perhaps other sources confirming your next step, such as um, people suggesting things to you, things that you see online or maybe signs that you see along, along your journey. So whatever intuitive prompt you receive, be grateful for it because God chose you to do the work and that means that you now know exactly what you need to do next and it also means that your desires are also on the way and that is something to be really really excited about and I am just curious have you ever tried manifestation before and you couldn't get it working for you have you ever tried to specifically use manifestation for business a few years ago I was fed up overworked and business strategies and manifestation techniques just weren't working for me. And after a lot of experimentation and some soul searching, I finally discovered where I'd been going wrong. Once I learned how manifestation actually works, I was able to feel confident to start a business that I'd been putting off for years and manifest the doubling of my business revenue on my existing passive business that had been static for a really long time. And I have shared my system for manifesting more revenue, more customers, more ease and flow while doing work that you adore, working the number of hours that you choose, all without any hustling or striving in my signature course called Dream Business Manifestation. And in this course, I take you through a 30 day journey from manifesting being the person that you want to be to manifesting your dream business and manifesting the money that you desire to make. And you can learn more about that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifest. And make sure that you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success. I'm also so excited to share my masterclass with you called Double Your Revenue Masterclass. And if you've tried all of the strategies to grow your revenue and it's still not increasing, this free masterclass will help you to easily get to the next level. I am sharing three extremely powerful manifestation techniques to help you manifest your first sale and double your revenue. This free masterclass is part of my dream business manifestation course. So grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash double. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.